in the 70s, board games and improv theater had a baby, and it was called the role-playing game. These games allowed a generation of kids to live out their dreams of slaying dragons and saving kingdoms, all while sitting in their bedrooms and basements. Today, gaming has moved into the cultural mainstream, and role-playing games are back with a vengeance. Join us now as five of these former kids come out of the basement and onto the internet to experience adventure, mystery, and obscure pop culture references. It's time for Roll for Combat. Hey everyone, welcome to Roll for Combat. I'm your GM and host, Stephen Glicker. And in this week's show, the boys encounter an operative. And we find out what happens when one ghost operative goes up against another ghost operative. Let's just say there's a whole lot of ghosting going on. Also this week, my GM PC tip is how to make annoying mechanics fun for everybody. So here we are, a big milestone, episode number five zero. Although technically it's not really a milestone because it's just episode 50. Episode 52 means we've been doing this for one year. And if you include all the other episodes, like the interviews and the special episodes, this is really episode like 60 or something. So yeah, let's just say it's episode 50 because that's the Dead Sons 50 and we'll call it at that. Anyhow, here we are, episode 50 never missed a week keep going strong also the good news is my plan to sort of increase the speed of dead sons slightly seems to be working out pretty well book three is moving and humming right along hopefully it won't take our standard 24 episodes to finish up book three i do want to try to finish this up because i do want to do signal of screams which comes out in november i am trying to move this along so that there's not too much overlap between those two in addition, for those of you who are new to the show, who are joining us because of the great Paizo migration, welcome. It seems that because the website has been down for several weeks, we've been having dozens slash hundreds of people join our Discord channel to talk about Starfinder, Pathfinder, Pathfinder Playtest, and more importantly, to play games. As you all know, we do play games on our Discord channel. We have both live and play by post, or in this case, play by Discord games. We have something like 15 games going right now, and we even have some people starting up against the Aeon Throne on there. Heck, I might even want to play one of those. Anyhow, if you're interested in playing or GMing, because we always need GMs, come on down. In fact, if you GM and finish a game, you get a free t-shirt. You also get a free t-shirt if you get to level 10, which just means you post a lot. The more you post, the higher your level gets. And then if you get really high, you're king of the server, and everyone congratulates you when you get a little crown. So one more quick note, because this is episode number 50, I have something very special for everyone at the very end of the episode. So make sure you listen to the whole thing, especially the very end, and you too will hear my special little surprise for every single one of you. Anyhow, enjoy this week's episode of Roll for Combat. Wait, where's Rusty? Oh wait, he's back there, okay. Chris Beamer is playing the Lashunta operative Hiroji. Yeah. He's in the back. Artillery laser is I'm out. John Stats is playing the Vesk soldier Mo Dupinski. Rusty, would you do you care to take point? I'm trying to actually get an overview of this entire scene for strategic purchase purposes, so I'm gonna hang back for just one second so I can actually see everything that's going on. Okay. So feel free to head on ahead. Bob Marquis is playing the human envoy Rusty Carter. Makes perfect sense. Roll for combat! Oh, oh no. I didn't see that coming at oh, all. Yeah. My what God. a surprise. Jason McDonald is playing the Soki mechanic Tuttle Blacktail and his drone, Cheddar. I don't see anything on this barren rock. What could possibly be attacking? Yeah, they're invisible. Speaking of which, you should be. I could, go, I could go invisible. Predator. I'm always going to go, they got Hiroji. <laughs> no, they didn't. They got the mask. Mo, thousand credit sticks. It's in your room, right? <laughs> so, as you guys start walking to the west, just minding your own business, Hiroji is shot. 
from, well, somewhere, um, way to the west. It appears he was sniped by something. And yeah. Goddamn operatives. I wish they'd all die. Hiroji's up. Do I see where it's coming from? Now you have to give me an active perception check. Does that cost an action? That will cost an action because you had no idea where it was coming from. Maybe they're invisible too. Um, okay. Is this we all do a perception check or just. He's up. You guys are in round. All right, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do an active perception check. Oh, that's right. We're in combat. Sorry. 24. Not bad. Not bad. 24. He rolls a 12 for a 24. He did very well. Hold on. Let me see. I'm going to have to roll counter. Okay. Um, you can't see the creature, but it came from that cliff face to the west. There's a 40-foot s- cliff that has steps. Each step appears to be approximately three feet and it looks like you can kind of run up the steps to the top of this cliff face. And it came from there, but when you look, you don't see anything. What do you do? It came from up there. I don't see anything as a free action. That was a, I had to use a move action to make that perception, I'm guessing, right? Well, you'll probably get two. Or was it just... How did that work? It was a full action uh, perception check. Yeah, great. I'm looking it up. I actually want to know. Yeah, I think Mo's next feats are all going to be movement-based feats. They do have that fleet feat, which I almost took, which gives you extra 10 movement. Uh, you know It what? is a move action. You're using what's called search, where you're looking into finding an invisible creature that made itself known or something like that. So it is an actual move action. So you still have a standard. Okay, so as a standard uh, action, I will activate my cloaking field. Okay. How does that's that work? Protect. Explain it to everybody. All right. Also, to protect the rest of us, right? We'll explain. Hold on. Okay. Uh, oper- it's an operative exploit, cloaking field. You can bend the light around yourself and muffle any minor sounds you make, allowing you to nearly vanish when not moving. Even when you move, you appear only as an outline with blurry features. This cloaking field does not make you invisible, but it does make it easier to sneak around. Activating the cloaking shield is a move action. While the cloaking field is active, you can use stealth to hide even while being directly observed and with no place to hide. Attacking doesn't end the cloaking field, but it does end that particular attempt to hide. If you remain perfectly still for at least one round, you get a plus 10 stealth bonus check until you move. Cloaking field lasts up to 10 rounds before it becomes inactive. While inactive, the cloaking field recharges automatically at a rate of one round of cloaking per minute. Cool. So by the way, you were hit with a 22, but you were flat-footed because you didn't know. It hit you for 13 points of damage and was fire damage, by the way. Was it like a... An energy weapon? Yes. Okay. I'm going to uh, make my stealth check right now. There we go. 33. He disappeared. Not even you guys know where he is. I should just make him invisible so you can walk into him. And if you walk into him, you're like, oh, you trip over him. That'd be or awesome. Or you could shoot, shoot me by accident. Or you shoot him by accident. The, the sniper the sniper disintegrated him. Oh, my God. Hiroji, if you can hear me, where are your credits? <laughs> On me at all times. He's up. Okay, so as a move action, I will do a search function that I just heard about to see if I can figure out the source of it. Working the rules. Working the rules. That's 20 perception. You have no idea. You, again, think it might have come from the western cliff area where you have no idea because that's a pretty big cliff. You see nothing. It's A lot of people have been disappearing. Hiroji disappeared, the creature yeah. attacking you has disappeared, or creatures. Yeah. This is going to be an annoying fight. I'm actually concerned whether or not I've actually, well, I've had a psychotic break, and now that this is all entirely an illusion. Could be. So I move over, flush against the cliff wall, and I'm done. Oh, and I have weapons in my hand now. Got it. Moe's up. Uh, Mo is just going to do a double move. He doesn't give a damn where they are. Okay. Charge straight. Nice. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, you can move to the west. There is that thing. You move 35, Mo, I think. I, my thing told me two moves. Yeah, I know I moved 35, but when Are I you moved, encumbered in some here, way, man? Here, uh, here uh, can you move me back and undo that? I don't know. I must be encumbered or something. No, you're not. No, here, I moved Okay, because it told me that this was three times my movement rate when I moved 70. Uh, No, it's fine. 
I don't know what happened, but you're fine. I mean, my screen says 35 move, uh, 35, uh... No, you're fine. I just moved you the extra 10, okay. so it said 60, so I just moved you 70. Tuttle, you're up. I'm going to do kind of like Mo. I'm going to do the double move. That's it, Tuttle. Draw their fire. Draw their fire. So you're just moving. You're going up against that wall. Yeah, I'm just following the contour of the wall going that way. Another shot rings out going towards Mo. Moving target. Oh, what the heck? Rolls a 26. Does 11 Jeez. points of damage against you. Fire! 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 Ooh, that's interesting. Hiroji's up. Okay. I will move. It's one round, by the way. You gotta keep keep track of those rounds. You only got 10 rounds of stealthing. I know. Uh, I'm gonna keep moving. That should be 80, yeah, that right? That is 80. Wow, Hiroji okay. likes this. You're like running in the middle of this huge kill zone. They can't see you. I enjoy that. Everyone else, on the other hand. Because I'm the predator. I know. <laughs> <I'm the hunter. laughs> I told you, level five is a good level. <laughs> Rusty's up. You guys got lots of cool new tricks. All right, so uh... you can do in another active. Every round, it will probably get a little easier to figure out or far- maybe pinpoint this uh-huh. guy. But yeah, no, a... I get it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and actually, that's probably the best that I can do at the moment while they're out front. All right, I will make another check and then move. Perception well, not a very good check. of 10. You're like, what? what? Where did everyone go? You are having a psychotic break. Yeah. Um, sorry, shifted myself back there. So I'm still hugging the wall for the moment, though I realize that the wall is not blocking anything or providing cover. Not from here. Bow is up. All right, I'm looking at... I have no idea what my jump is going to be in this low G. Are you going to try to jump up? Okay, that's my first action. I'm moving 35 feet. Yep. And I... Well, I don't know. I mean, with five-foot steps, this might just be runnable. Because I don't know how the, how low the gravity is, but like... Well, as part of a move it's... action, you can use athletics. So you can move 10. You can do a running start. And then... The DC is equal to the number of feet you're attempting to jump horizontally, or four times the number you're trying to jump vertically. However, the good news is you're in low gravity. This is yeah. 40 feet up, so you could try to jump. Well, it's up to you. Well, I don't need to jump 40 feet. I mean, I think I get the first five feet for free. Um, well, I'm telling and, you what you can do. If you want to jump up in low gravity. I don't want to jump up. Oh, I don't okay. want to jump up. I, I'm, I basically want to run up the stairs, and I think I can do that, but you can tell me otherwise. It the rocky looks... steps up to the cliff are about three feet high, and now you actually kind of have car cover because you're like right up against this thing. Right. Like, right trying to snipe you. Actually, you, you are good. Um, it's considered difficult terrain, and it's going to take a little while. It, you can climb up it, but it's basically climbing up difficult terrain. It's like running up difficult terrain. That's what it's equivalent of. Even in low gravity. Yes, because you have to like sort of jump up, land, get a foothold, jump up, land. So, but you can run up it as opposed to climb it. Yeah, I'm going to run up them. So, how far can I move? Is you it would basically half my? Yeah, you get half. So you get seventeen and a half, if you will. So if you want to run up it, you can get up there. That's 15 more. Yeah, that's like, yeah, that's about it. That's as far as you can get. All right. Do I see anything else? You know, Where's Rusty? Oh, I guess yeah, I'm on you don't have time. Ledge here. Yeah, you don't have time to, you, you need to actually, you don't see anything. Tuttle's up. T- Whoa. Tuttle is flying. Right. Double move. Oh, my God. All right. Well. And then Cheddar, I presume. There is the mount. Rainy. So you guys can occupy one square? Can you fight like that and stuff? Yeah, though, I don't know that I want to go right into melee. So it's... It, yeah. I may, I may, like, jump off, like, a round before Cheddar actually goes into melee. But Mounted combat. For Not... Stuff like this, covering distances, that saves me the whole, like, you know, two-step shot. Yeah. And it... it um. He can carry a gun sometimes too, right? What do you mean? Yeah, you can carry. I mean, a gun. he has weapon. He has his usual weapon mounts. The saddle doesn't give him like additional. It's he, he can fight. I mean, everyone's I, like, you can, I you can, can, yeah, I can, can stand fight from range. On. Yeah, I, mean, that's I, cool. can shoot, I can shoot they while on his back. Our like master that. blaster. 
<laughs> they literally oh, are master God. blaster. It's crazy. Do you get a standard? Uh, can, like, can you do perception perception checks at all or anything while you're up yeah, there? Yeah, he can do everything. The thing is to to control. It's basically a swift action to sort of move and use him in combat. That's what it is. There's actually a whole section right. on mounted combat, and normally it takes checks, but because it's cheddar and it's his uh, it's his drone. He doesn't have to make any checks. It just happens automatically. The actions are still necessary. So, for example, if if Cheddar took a, sorry if Tuttle took a full round or full action, he can't then control Cheddar because it takes a swift. Things like that. So all right. that's all. And it uses up a swift. Like if you wanted to use a swift for something else. Shot rings out. Towards Rusty, who's only going to get more insufferable because it missed him. Unbelievable. It hits Mo, it hits Hiroshi, and it misses the guy with the worst arm in the whole game with a four. Well, I, I'm the highest level character in this party. Yeah, I'm FYI, we didn't see that roll. It is a mystery roll. Oh, it was a four for a 16, and it missed. So. Okay. Nice. All right, so for my move, and this is my third round of Stealth Field, so I'll mark that off. So I'll tick that off. Okay, so I can move. You're supposed to do a new stealth every time, by the way. Oh, really? Okay, well, that's 40. There's your stealth. Um, okay, so now... Yes? So now I could use my jump jets and, and like, blast up 20 feet and land up there. Uh, how far does the jump jets? It does, I think, 30 feet straight up, yeah, right? 30, no, it can go 30 feet uh, forward, but I think it only can go 20 feet up, straight up. Okay, it's yeah, a low gravity. Low you can actually yeah. get to three times higher, so you can actually get all the way to the top if you wanted to. Yeah, that's what I'd like to do because that's where I think I saw the shot coming from, right? Yes, yes. Forty feet. Okay, I do. That happens. You just want to go there. Yep. There you go. There and from there. So I, yeah. Passive perception. Sure. What's your passive perception? That's not your passive. That's your active perception. Oh, it's what is it? How it's does that work? 10. It's, it's just ten. So it's. Oh, it's so a uh, twenty-two. 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 Uh, you, strangely enough, you go up there and you look around and you can't see anything. But you can see a beautiful view being 40 feet up and now on this terrain that you can see just the whole asteroid from up here. It's beautiful. It's beautiful, I tell you. Lovely. It's this time beautiful. of year. It's full of stars. Triple rainbow. <laughs> it's full of stars. <laughs> what does it mean? You, you don't see anything. Maybe this person also has a cloaking device. <laughs> it could be. Rusty's up. Okay, now this operative shot Hiroji, and now we cannot find her. Okay, why is it every time we run into another operative, they're better than the one we're using? Why, <laughs> why, why, when are we going to hire some decent yeah. operative? Yeah. I, I can't hear you because you're 100 feet away. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. Are you even on the map? Where are you? <laughs> oh, you say it over the community. Here, I, I've moved a little closer, so maybe you can spot me at a distance. <laughs> so I've done a double move towards you. You're still far, far away. Mo is up. Um, well, this is interesting. He's going to do... Can I... Hmm. Do I have to do my full movement for uh, to do a perception check? It's a move action to do a perception. You can't see anything from this angle. You're against the wall. I mean, it's you. I put it this way: you can try, but you have nothing. You're not viewing anything. You're climbing up a cliff face, and they're on top of the cliff, so you have no idea. Well, if I move there, there I'm all the way up, right? Yes. Okay. Now you can do active perception. So you get to the top. You use well. That's 30. Yeah, you can get there. So you can get to the top. So you're there. So now you can do active perception okay, so as your move action. Okay, now an active perception is... Just roll perception. And it's a move action. That's all. You get a God, nine. His, you look around. So bad. Beautiful. Beautiful Oh, view. man, his perception's so bad. You see nothing. Tuttle's up. All right, I'm actually going to do the same jump jets trick Hiroji did. Though, actually, uh, I might have to do... Actually, I'm going to... Um, I'll still do a regular move this time, actually. Okay. Well, where are you going? I guess I'm going to go back down around the corner there. Oh, so you're not using your jump jets? You're just I think I'm going to skip the jump jets. Okay, cause... so you're running You're running around the tip. 
to get to like the other side. Yeah. I got it. Yep. Well, you guys are fascinating. Let's see what happens. Well, I like to see that. The effect is gone. From in front of you. This is this is crazy. I don't even know how this is gonna work, but he's gonna do it anyhow. Suddenly something appears in front of Mr. Mo. Alright. Here we go. Appears to be a large humanoid. Quite large, in fact. Appears to be about 10 feet tall. And how he appeared out of nowhere, you have no idea. Although it does appear to be quite similar to what Mr. Hiroji just did. Mm -hmm. As he looks and he has a sniper rifle in his hand, Mm. he pulls out... A sword in the other. He's still holding the sniper rifle in the in this uh, in his hand, and he does well. Actually, no, he's not going to do that. He is not going to do that. He is going to jump backwards as a withdraw. Was uncloaking an action, or was that actually a reaction? To Neither. It, uh, he doesn't. It uncloak just happens. It doesn't. Uh, Okay. Doesn't take an action. He actually didn't uncloak. Yeah, just, he was discovered. He actually he wasn't discovered either. It's actually a little strange what happened. He moved. I put it this way: in theory, he could be doing this all stealthing, um, but I just made it that you could see him. But he sort of jumps backwards down onto the floor below. So now he's at the bottom of the other side of the cliff, and then he disappears. Now, you can do active perception, as you saw him literally go uh, predator on you after he jumped down. Yeah, I mean, does this appear to be my same ability? Yes. Okay, so I'm very familiar. then you know exactly the square he's in also. Yeah, we all kind of do. He had to move, and then he had to uh, reapply his stealth. That's two actions. He did. You can attack attack blindly if you want, because you do know where he is, but obviously... You could also How do an active far move. down is it? 40 is feet. He... This guy has wings. It actually appeared when he jumped, and he kind of was able to land effortlessly. Like, it's sort of strange. This guy was there. He sort of went backwards. Wings appeared and as he was about to hit, so he didn't have to, like, do anything. And now he disappeared. Very quick and odd. You actually might Come on, Roji. Take some shots right. at him. Um... Well, I'm thinking I want to jump down and then and then maybe take a blind shot, right? You do not have wings, so you're going to have to make a roll. But I do going. have jump jet. You used it already. No, it's doesn't. It's not. It's once per minute. Doesn't go. Doesn't go away. Once per minute. Is it? Is that how it works? It's only once per minute. At least cheddars is. Yeah. I don't know about that. Let me double check uh, that. Oh, uh, of yep. course it is. We've been playing with it for a long time. <laughs> I just got it. Yeah. Well, let's see. You can activate jump checks as part of a move action in order to fly. You can fly up to 30 feet with a maximum height of 10, or you can fly. You must land at the end of your action. Can't lift. Oh, no. Oh, wait. Oh, no, but that's only for heavy armor. No. Oh, lighter heavy. It says lighter heavy. Uh, okay, yeah, you can use it whenever you want. Oh, those jump checks yeah, are it's awesome. Just, it's just, yeah, exactly. Oh, no, it's, it's just, just uh, uh, Cheddar's. Yeah. I don't know why Cheddar's is only once every minute. That's weird. But He's probably heavier. Yeah, no, that's fine. I also got the jump jets. I also... Got... So I could fly down, and then, I mean, with the low gravity, I should be able to be okay, right? Sure. I'll say that you can use the jump jets, because it's part of a move. You can fly up to 30 feet average. Um, so I can say you can sort of jump down. It up like over there, maybe. Sure. <laughs> Superhero landing. <laughs> and um, I, jeez, I guess I don't know what to do. Like I guess I can take a shot, but like my. <sighs> Go ahead. What does that mean? It's like fifty percent miss chance or something. Well, actually, no. I'm going to take a perception. I want to do perception and uh, try and see him. Okay. That's pretty good. Almost. A, that's a 19. Boy, that's an insane perception. 31 if a 31 perception. doesn't per- perceive him. Uh, you don't see him. <laughs> Great. That's my fourth round of cloak. It's weird. I'm trying to figure out how this cloak can, you, can it be turned off. It doesn't, it's not clear. Yeah, you can turn it off at will, and then it recharges like 
Uh, was it once every minute or something? It's one minute for per round yeah. you get back, but it yeah. doesn't say what kind of action that is. It doesn't say... It's automatic. Free? All right, yeah. so that's good. Uh, I am also jump jetting it, and I'll do double movement going... But since I'm going up the side of this little cliff, I'll only be able to move 20 instead of 30. So where are you going? Uh, to there. Okay. I'm sort of going up the side of that cliff, so I had to use the jump jets, but it meant I had to go slower. Wow. Uh, Mo is going to take a full attack with his uh, azimuth artillery laser and uh, shoot right where the guy disappeared. Pop, pop. Okay. And I'm going to attack the ground, I guess. Let's hear those crits. Let me hear those crit noises. Hold on, I'm looking it up. Oh, okay. I like the sound of that. It's, uh... All right, give me a 50% mischance. 50% mischance. Low is a hit. High is a miss. Well, that's alrighty. a hit. Nice. And... One hit. I rolled a Very nice. 19 and... Misses. A nine for an eighteen misses, so I hit with a twenty-eight. Uh, that's wow! That's... Light her up! Light her up! Uh, yeah, you hit something. <laughs> it's all you hit something. Uh, again, it's weird. It's it's well, it's predator-like. You like saw for oh, a split Hiroji second. Oh, ought to see that. That's, that's well. Wait, I have a question. Can we now see a few drops of blood that fell to the ground? Nope. Yeah. There's a uh, trail there. Blood trail. Nope. nope. No, I'm really just more concerned that if it can bleed, it can die. <laughs> it can die. <laughs> Not yet. Yeah, this this feels. Um, I'm gonna move up. I'm gonna move up 30 feet, and then this is the point at which I'm going to jump off of uh, Cheddar. Okay. Again, shot rings out. Shoots a tuttle. <laughs> Hits. You twenty one for well, what did I do to him? Seventeen. Is that possible? Actually, you should have. I thought you had. Hold on. Is it a is it a heat weapon? Because then I have the damage reduction. It is. I put it in cor- incorrectly. So you only got thirteen points of damage because it is a laser weapon. So instead of seventeen, which was almost max damage, by the way. Is that a four damage reduction or five? five. Damage? I think oh, so. I, th- I think attacking makes you visible though, because it, it doesn't end the field, but you do have to make like a new like s- some kind of stealth check. Then you make enough. a new move. You then use a move action, which it's going to do to turn to go back to stealthing. Okay, so it, so I could see, you see it for a second, and then it it's unclear. It, it is, is actually kind of unclear. It is a little unclear, but it says here, so what happens is, even when you move, you appear only as an outline with blurry features. This cloaking field doesn't make you invisible, but it does make it easier to sneak around. Activating cloak fields move action while activating a field, you can use stealth to hide, even while being directly observed with no place to hide. Attacking does not end a cloaking field, but it does end that particular attempt to hide. So you have to roll the new, as long as you just keep doing it as a move, you can keep rolling mm-hmm. and you have a new stealth. So the good news is it did not seem to roll so great that time, so you might have a chance to actually see it. So now, because I want to take a full round action on it, you can try, but or you can try to find it. It's up to you, dude. If you roll the nineteen and you didn't see, I know, but the problem is there's a huge, it. there's it's a different huge every, difference. It's different every round. It's different every time. And Steve it's, just basically metagame told us it's easier this time. Right, but my problem is that my damage is crap if I don't trick attack. Like, it's basically nothing. So I'm, I'm thinking I, I, I better try the trick attack and maybe go for the 50% miss chance. You know what I mean? Yeah, you could definitely. You saw where it was. So I, I'll put it this way. If you hit, you're going to hit, and then it's just a 50% miss. All right, I'm going to um, I'm gonna use my trick attack to attempt okay. to trick attack. So let's do that. Okay. So it's uh, Damn, 35. Well, you think it works. <laughs> you have no idea because you can't see All it. All right, but... and now I gotta. Now I have to attack. So, just attack the ground. I'll give you the rest. Oh, <gasps> what is that? Give me fifty percent mischance. Uh oh, here we oh, go. Oh, we right, got so... a hit. We got All a hit. Right. So Don't do high it. High is is a hit. No, low is a hit. You dummy. No, no, because if you hit it, if you hit it a double zero, you're gonna be feeling bad if, you, <sighs> if that's a miss. No, a hundred, that's a high is always a hit. I mean, low. Uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, right. Here, roll the 12. 
That's you mess. you you thought you hit it for a second, but it's uh, uh, the invisibility uh, Ugh, didn't quite brutal. do it. Well, I do say as a free action um, on our comms that that you know because I'm very familiar with this ability, it will it doesn't won't last forever. It's going to run out. That is true. Probably. Uh, what square is it in, Tony? Now. In that square, right where right where I shot, where I saw so my shot. Excellent. Twenty five feet in front of me. Another 20 feet as part of that move action. I pull out a sticky bomb grenade and I throw it in that spot. Oh, nice. Ooh, good move, Captain. Thank you. We'll see. I haven't hit it yet. Uh, well, I don't think I need to hit oh, it. Oh, it's so much it's a grenade. <laughs> oh, I like this attack. I like this attack a lot. Oh, uh, where are you attacking? Show me exactly. Actually, hold on. I'm moving my character to where I'm going to. I'm aiming to hit at the lower corner of that, because I don't want to get Hiroji or myself. I was up at the top of the cliff. I'm not worried about it, but Hiroji is down there. Can't you just place the radius on the map? Okay. He asked where I wanted to hit, and I did it that way. One, oh. one second. Oh, okay. There we go. Actually, I wanted to be five to the right of that. My mistake. I'm up in the air. I'm not worried about getting hit. You do it again. I think you might want it higher than that too. Is the radius? What's it called? Uh, uh, sticky grenade. Sticky bomb grenade two, fifteen foot. Creature hit by an entangled weapon becomes entangled until it escapes. Hold on. The entangle is a DC seventeen. I have yeah, I have it all. So sticky bomb two explodes. Right. Um, so I'm doing the math. The range increments will matter. So here's the fun part. Are you ready? You missed. I missed. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you rolled a three. Well, I oh, rolled a three. So. Okay. There it is. Um, oh, sorry if you couldn't see it. I have to keep hiding because he keeps stealthing, so that's why I'm hiding my rolls. No, no, it's fine. Um, but this is where it gets really interesting. You still my hit. Right. It's or an area. It's an yeah, area. Right. So let's roll. I haven't done this in a while. 1d8 and then a 1d4. 1d8 is direction. 1d4 is location. And I'll do the rest. We're, we're, right. really, we're really good with grenades. 1d8. Okay. We went low for this one, I think. Uh, let me know when you're ready for the D4. You can do. You can do the D4. Oh, oh that's that's nice. that works good. for me. That's fine. That's really good, I think. It might be one closer to Hiroji, I, though. That'd I be think fun. you actually want it. Up. Oh, that's okay. It's actually one closer to you. Yeah, but I'm up on the top of the cliff. Exactly. It's Forty feet away. Exactly. Yeah. It explodes and covers the whole face of that cliff right below you and Mo, and gets like near your feet. And it goes right up next to Roji, and it doesn't hit anything else. And you're like, whew, that, that could have been a lot worse. That could have landed right on top of you guys, but luckily wait, wait, wait. it didn't. Yeah. Uh, no, however, actually, I don't do any of that out loud. That's my internal voice. Out loud, that's exactly what I was aiming for. Hmm. Zach uh, Brannigan. And this thing didn't get entangled or anything? You missed. You didn't right. see anything get hit. I didn't see anything in it. Oh, well. goes. I mean, it, uh, full attack, same uh, spot. You got it. Might even give you a little bit of a bonus to zero. And not really. It's invisible. But uh, we'll see. Your attack's pretty good. Well, four isn't very good. Yeah. Nor is a five. Oh, well. Sorry. Tuttle is up. That's fine. Tuttle is up. Uh, I'm going to try to do a perception check to see if I can see it. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. See, how does this perception check work? Because, I mean, just a move action. that lets him see it. Right. That doesn't really do anything for him. Oh, you can call off the square. I apparently, do, I apparently don't see Chatter. <laughs> Where's <laughs> Chatter? You rolled a one. <laughs> for a nine. Oh, well. All right. Well, I'm going to drop prone, okay. and I'm going to then send Chatter forward. Send in a car. Man, I'm going to have Cheddar shoot his junk cannon where everyone else has been shooting. Okay. Rolls a 14. Misses. So, this thing likes the cut of your jib. And you see a grenade coming towards you. Who are you talking you? to? I think he's talking to Cheddar. His Cheddar went wrong. <laughs> yes, that's right. <laughs> Clink! Clink, ah, clink. well. Grenade! Grenade, Grenade indeed. Latrine! <laughs> Latrine. <laughs> no one's going to know that. 
Top, oh, secret. Oh, I know that Top one. secret. I love that. Of course, one. Yeah. <laughs> La tree. <laughs> well, there he is. Ha ha! Oh snap! And everyone sees that? No, nah, not really. I just show it for fun. He's still in, he's still stealthing. You actually don't see. It doesn't break the stealth. That's the best part. Oh no! Let's see. Wait, wait. Does he hit? Oh, he hits. It's a plus a billion on the frag grenade. So everyone in that area. As the frag grenade two goes off, give me a reflex save. Jason, have you ever made a save? Not occasionally, but not recently. Tuttle gets a 12 and fails. Hiroji gets a 10 and fails. It's so ridiculous because it's my evasion skill. I would take no damage <laughs> if I make that save. Mr. All I have to do is make that save. Mr. Cheddar. No, but, but I, Cheddar. But Chris, I've seen you make saves before. I don't think I've ever seen Tuttle actually make a save. Yeah. Cheddar. Cheddar gets a 26. Look at Morty. that. Cheddar oh, bounces it back to him. Yeah, not really. Oh my god. Oh, you don't see it? I can lie, but I rolled a 1 and a 2. So... Minimal damage. Cheddar takes no damage because he has a damage reduction. Take so full damage, he took Hiroji. One damage, but there's no damage because he has DR everything of one. Give Hiroji full full damage. <laughs> there you go. And they are right in your face, Hiroji. Full take, damage. Take damage. It's so it's so <laughs> silly. Actually, I have an idea. I can do something here. You all know which role I'm using. There we go. And. Hiroji goes. That's a trick. I actually saw that at uh, Gen Con. Is you roll like five right. dice and you don't know which one I'm using. So. All right. So um, I don't see it, but I can still try to do my trick attack thing again, right? Sure. sure. I just showed him to you. I mean, in theory, he's just stealthed. It's Predator. It's That's the easiest way to think of it. You have it too, yep. by the way. I have it too. Yep. Yeah. I'm doing the same thing. He's not attacking you. He just happened to hit you because you're in the field. So he actually just lucky that you got so trick attack fails. Oh, not even close. Not through your regular attack. Now you're gonna hit because if you, of course, yeah, if you trick attack and your trick attack doesn't yeah, go, because he's gonna try to do high again and he's gonna screw up. Mm -hmm. Oh, give me the damage, high or low? Which, high or low, Chris? High, of course, always. Oh. High. Yep. Booyah! Three damage. Yes. Good job. Too bad that stuff. <laughs> Why don't you just roll? Why do you, how do I roll? How minimum, do I roll minimum damage. He rolls minimum <laughs> every time. <laughs> I'm gonna roll an actual die. I don't like the, don't like the automation at all. We're all rolling oh, because you were god. rolling really good before. Oh my god, we gotta keep never these logs and we just never look do at it. He always rolls a one. Rusty's up. Yep, all right. Uh, another, another round of stealth. So it's, I've had five. So it's going to have it made first like four or five rounds. And I do let you know that. Like, it's like a, it should, it's self feel should wear out in about 30 seconds. Well, I'm basically either crit farming or I need to get closer. Yeah, I don't know if that sticky stuff stays around. Yeah, I don't either. So I kind of have Probably to see where I'm at. But let's see. Just in case. Well, I can fly. You should read the thing and I'm see. It probably doesn't. It's probably like a Tanglefoot bag. Okay. I'm going to fly there and try and yeah, shoot him. Yeah, jump shafts. You don't care. I have to land every round, though. Disintegrator pistol. Okay. Now we're... Oh! Give me a 50% miss chance. From 15 feet away. Give me right, 50%. a 50%. High is the hit. High is the hit. I'll be doing percentile oh, high. Oh, come on. High is always the hit. Ah! Uh, I mean low. <laughs> That would have been a crit, but you missed! You would have been a crit. Oh, man. And the disintegrator oh, has secondary things, too. It disintegrates you on a crit. Uh, the disintegrator... Oh, no, the disintegrator pistol doesn't do anything. That would have been a ton of damage. 1d10 times 2, plus other stuff. Yeah, let's, stuff. let's just... Uh, you'll notice I'm just not... I'm not paying attention. Mo is up! Mo is attacking the ground. Are you doing a full round attack? I was doing a full attack, and oh my gosh, he rolls a That's two and then you, a one. Roji. Wow! <laughs> I'm, I'm not mind. touching the dice. And... All right, mouse, earn your money. <laughs> Come on, mouse, go, mouse, go. Uh, I'm gonna do a perception check to see if I can see him. Doki. <gasps> you see nice. him? Nice. Only you. And... And I'm going to take only you a can prevent forest fires. And I'm going to take a shot at him with my overcharge. Okay. Are you going to call out the, the the location? What's that? Ooh, what was that you rolled? 
what was that? I don't, I don't know. I, just, I think I just slipped my. I just think my finger slipped. Uh, well, there's the your attack, attack roll. You rolled a 19. Yeah. <laughs> Figure out the uh, bonuses, Steve. Well, believe it or not, he's still dead. Wow. Nice. And Good job. Four. Then you get like another. How much more? I think it's another D6. Well, two more. It works. You That's hit him. Positive damage. He's Sounds like, good. aha! Ow! Wait a second. What are you doing? Yex. I say, Yex. Stop attacking, Yex. Well, Cheddar goes now. Okay, so Cheddar. Um... You did a move to find him and attack a standard, so Cheddar has. What does he have left? Just a move. Cheddar is sharing the eyes of his master, so he sees it also. Where does he have a standard, too? I forget. I think he would just have a move left. Yeah. Or wait, I don't think I can do anything with him this round. Why? Oh, well. All right. I guess I can't can do anything with Cheddar this round. Oh, I can, can move, move him. All right. Well, um, well, do you want to move him? I'll leave him where he is. He can... This cloaking field is really good. <laughs> this cloaking <laughs> field is sick. Really good. It's so freaking good. Latrine! Latrine! Because he hits automatically. I don't even need to roll. He has a plus 13 to hit a... a you yeah, you could roll a one. Yeah, you roll a one. Oh, you're right, you're right, you're right. You're right. I rolled a one before. How oh, dare you try to get that past us. Okay. Insulting. There we go. He gets it. You know, you're right. You're absolutely right. I forgot. Uh, uh, he does not roll a one. He okay. rolls a 16. 28 a for a DC for hitting a five. So he hits. <laughs> and everyone give me your reflex saves. Tuttle makes his... Hiroji fails his, and Cheddar fails his. Unbelievable. It's my best save. Oh, and max damage! Boom, boom! (laughs) Hiroji, take that damage in your face. I'm taking it. I have a lot of stamina. Um, I can take it. That's so brutal. Can you hold your breath a long time? Oh, God. (laughs) Hiroji, why didn't you dodge that one? Yeah, I don't know, man. I suck at it. I, it's ridiculous. It's like it's and it's like taking no. You should I, be dodging that stuff. I know. That's believe not, me. That's ridiculous. All right. So the crazy fight of two stealthy guys. This stealthing field is excellent, Hiroji. Thanks so much for <laughs> letting me know how this works because he's having a blast with this thing. I noticed. <laughs> Well, this is why you want AOE weapons, because it's actually... Oh, I have grenades, but... Oh, yeah, really... no, that's why I always carry them. I'm yeah, not very I good mean, at because it. you'll hit them automatically if you hit the area. I mean... I know, well, maybe. Well, that was I my just... theory when I threw a grenade. You'll notice it didn't actually happen. Though. Right, well, when I drop it, when missed. I drop the grenade on my foot, like I've done before, you know, that's... I'm yeah. Just, I'm, not, I'm not proficient in grenade, even though I love them. Yeah, we know. This is a cool... Fi- I gotta, I'm got. i going to double-check this, but I've read this ten times, and we are doing correctly... Basically, yeah, it does exactly what Hiroji says. It allows you to. He has to do a new roll every round, and he can, he's only doing a move action. He's not. He can't do full attacks. He's kind of stuck where he is. You do know the square, so it's just fifty percent miss chance. You can. You're basically, for all intents and purposes, you are attacking him. You just have a fifty percent miss chance. That's all at this point. Sure. So is, you're not fine. really. It's. It's not like, oh, his AC went up or anything, you know, like, so you might as well just attack. So yeah. it's like a standstill. I mean, if he if he appeared, it wouldn't change. Those ones and twos would still miss. So, yeah, so it's not that bad. Like, it's OP kind of, though. It's it's it, and it's completely ineffective against AOE. So, so you said you're going to show us where he is. Oh, well, I actually I lied. He's two squares west of where rusty is so if you want to yep. attack where you think he is you can just attack the ground then i'll do the rest so or throw a grenade or throw or a grenade re- west or, where uh rusty is okay yes or in my case throw a grenade and still miss yeah that's true oh yeah rusty did throw a nice sticky grenade missed, i had a sticky and... grenade i actually had a something for this encounter god damn it and you missed you yeah. almost got out you almost got your own guys but not quite so uh, I will take a shot in that square, but I will do a trick attack. I'll tell you if you make it. Right. 20. Mm, f- that's a f- <laughs> five. Well, you always forget your plus one because of ghost, right? So it's 25, not 25, uh, right? Right, 25, yep. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. That's a fail. 
Maybe. Maybe you did it. Maybe not. I guess we'll find out. If you hit, we'll I see. I mean, it's DC 20 plus it's CR, I think, isn't it? Oh, that is correct. So if he's CR 5 or lower, you got him. So we'll see. Mm. So go attack. Attack. Attack in the ground. I'm doing it. Roll That's... a 17. That's the wrong spot. Even... <laughs> it's a fine. It, uh... <laughs> you attacked completely the wrong way. Yeah, you didn't do it. You didn't even come close to his AC. Uh, Rusty's up. So you know, I'm not even having uh, to roll a 50%. Move action. I pull out a grenade. Standard action. I throw it. It's just going to be a, a shock. A, a frag one grenade. If I can't hit anything every way, I'm not going to worry about whether I'm being that effective. At least I'll do some damage over Okay, so just roll your attack, or yep. put down the thing where you're going to put it. Yeah, I actually selected the center thing, if you want, I'll put down the thing. Are you doing a frag grenade two? No, frag grenade one. Oh, okay. Okay, so he will roll his reflect. 21! You do not need to worry about rolling damage, as he has evasion. Okay, there we go. Mo is up! All right, so I'm going to attack the square where I think he is. Actually, I'm going to take a... That's a difficult, that's a difficult terrain, by the way. Oh, that's right. Okay. Oh, that's right. I'm going down. All right, so I'm going to go down. I'm going to go there and attack. With what? Uh, with a pike tactical. Okay. I'm attacking the ground. Give me 50% miss chance. Uh, low is good. Low is a hit, I should say. It should never be that high. But you got lucky. What do you think? Dude, if you have a 50% chance of hitting, then that's what it is. It's... No, high is... Because when you roll double zero, you want that to be No, you don't want that, but that that's meaningless, though. Uh, how much it's damage not... did I do? Okay, I rolled a 18 for 29 hits. Um, I do 13 damage, which means... Okay, I roll a D8 way, plus minimum, 12. I rolled the 1 for damage. Minimum okay. damage! Just want to make sure everybody knows. But you did hit him, and you hear a per- you hear something go, Arr! Oof! Tuttle sound. Uh, I'm actually going to try to do a perception check. Okay. Yeah, I don't see anything. 11. You see stars. All right. Okay, to take a shot anyways. Yeah, you could always shoot. And you're prone, by the way. You were doing that prone thing, and then you can, like, scamper up because you have that as a fast action. I'm going to stay prone for a little while, though. All right. Roll 14, not even bother. You missed. Cheddar's up. Cheddar. Um, I'm going to move him. I'm just going to move him up. So you guys get into the high double digits, and not even bother. Cheddar is best when he's sharp. <laughs> Interesting. All right. He is brief. Well, he doesn't really appear, but next to where everyone thinks he is, which is next to Cheddar and Mo and Rusty, a shot rings out at Hiroji. It does not provoke because you can't see him. And he misses. Nice. And I also did. I, I, and I didn't have my uh, my thing on because I didn't re stealth. I know, you didn't restealth. That's when he saw you. He's, like, angry. He wants to take out the other sniper. And right, he also will rehide. Well, where, where is he? We don't, I don't see him. Yeah, that's right. You don't. Don't we briefly get to see him? Mm, not really. I'll put it what? this way. You briefly, you briefly see a shimmer in front of you, but then he... Did you see the shot and the shimmer, but then he rehides? You don't get an attack of opportunity. Because you don't actually see. It doesn't work. No, I don't want to. I have to. I just want to know where he is. Yeah, he's he's near, he's near, he's near you. Is he catty corny? Catty corny? Uh, catty corner to me? Yeah. Hiroji's okay. up. Okie dokie. You might walk into him. I move there. Yeah. Actually, I move there. I think I move. That's forty, right? Is that forty? Is that forty-five? That's forty-five. If you go there. I want to go there, and okay. I shoot. Just normally shoot. Okay. All right, now that was a good shot. You actually are uh, going to hit. But 50%. Percent, yeah. All right, high is always good, John. Wrong. In this case, it was. Thank you. 52. <laughs> you barely high is it. always good. I made it by a mile. 
Three points of damage, maybe. Oh. Rusty's up. Wow, why do I roll minimum damage? Did you time? roll a one I, again? I guess. I mean, it's... why are we always rolling ones and the monsters are always rolling max? It's so crazy. Mm. I'm I'm almost appreciative way. of the odds. Like, you know. Never tell me the odds, Rusty's up. Yeah. Well, I am within 15 feet, so I'm going to pull my disintegrator pistol and I'm going to shoot that spot that Hiroji just hit. Excellent. I wish I had one of those. That's a nice thing to have. Give it to the no. guy who's the worst combat. Man, you do. It is such a good thing to have. Oh my god. No disintegration. <laughs> Might hit, but someone's got to give me a 50% chance. Well, Bob, I, you're I, in agreement I, the high is good, right? No. Well, um, I mean, it's not 420 day. I mean, it's not always good I think to you be should high. take the middle. I think you should take 25 through 75. 26 through right 75. Thing. That's it. You Do know what, Jason's right. Thing, right. I am going to choose 26 through 75. Are the gods will punish hits. you for such folly. That is... no, that's the hits. Do you understand that, Steve? Yes. They're, Great. The gods will punish you. Watch. I told you. God and they damn mocked it. you. <laughs> yeah, they mocked you. The 77. <laughs> the gods. That is so good. I, they spoke. I mean, the, the, the gods wow. brown on, over. Tom, on tomfoolery. I, I, yeah. I accept that the gods have sent me a clear message, and I feel bad as a person. And you it know, was high, and which is the high is always. I know. Good. No, if I had listened to you, I would have hit him for exactly. the highest damage I've ever done in this game. So you know, the funniest part is everyone missed by t or made by two because John rolled what a forty-eight, so yeah, he made it by yeah. two. Chris rolled a fifty-two, so he made it by two, and then Bob rolled a seventy-seven, so he missed by two. Now yes. that is weird. Okay, Mo is up. Yeah. I mean, All right. Bob, what do you when you roll for psionics? What do you want to roll? Double zero. That's you want why high zero. is positive. That's why you want to go high. But you know what? You also want zero one. Steve, this oh, wait, is going to be a full attack. You got it. You don't want zero one. That actually was a good attack, too. You would have done some serious damage. Okay, that's a good hit, but you're going to have to give me a 50 percent chance. Of course, if, if there's a 50% chance of hitting him, one to 50 is hitting him. Oh Ding. my god, you hit that 50! Oh my god, how'd you, how'd you do that? Rolls a 50. John, wow. get, get off the computer and go buy a Powerball ticket. You hit again, baby! Uh, wait, did you put in the minus four? Uh, no, I can't. Well, you can. You can always put in the minus four. Well, oh. 24 would have There's hit, There's a thing right? for but power attack. Uh, oh, no, you don't put that in. Yeah. No, there's a thing you can save. There's, at the top, you can put in You can put in a modifier. Um, uh, roll a 50% chance again. Oh, wow. is that what those things are? Sorry about that. Yes. Okay. That's okay. Uh, yeah, low again. Ooh, oh, see. Mm, yeah, oh, you went misses. to that well one too many times. <laughs> oh, hey. At least, at least, at least you hit. <laughs> sixteen points. See, and it you wasn't minimum. Sixteen points. That mattered. That was great. That was four. You rolled a four. You see, you don't always roll a one. Tuttle's up. Send in the car. Send in the car. Now remember, this shield thing is running out. That Mine only true. has like three rounds left. And Tuttle tries to shoot, and misses with a six for a fourteen. Are you doing anything else? Um, actually, I'm going to get up and move a little closer. Send in the mouse. And then I'm going to have Cheddar attack. With the Junk Cannon! That's a line, so that will actually hit uh, Mo or uh, Rusty. No, we're above. Aren't they it. up on the cliff, though? Yeah, we're I above. That's a line that's going to hit both Mo and Rusty. No, but I think they're what? up on a cliff, though. Is no? it a cone or a line? It's a line. No, but they're up. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Oh, I was gonna say. I'm like. No, I mean, I can possible? move cheddar. No, nah, you can try. shoot it. You right. can shoot it in like a diagonal, so you're not gonna hit. Them. Yeah, I'm gonna shoot diagonal and maybe and make sure he doesn't hit them or Don't hit you. those guys rather. Don't you secretly mean? Please hit them accidentally. Well, Rusty definitely. Yeah, you missed by a mile. God, it, like shoots right. that way. It's like goes completely yeah. zonkers. All right. This oh boy, it. fascinating. Here we go. Here we go, indeed. Here comes another three points. You know, it's like the law of probability is more like a guideline, really. It's if it's oh no, grenade. 
Indeed. Oh, come on. Yes. I brought, drops, I, it, I, it drops it at his feet. I, I know. Uh, uh, I like that tactic. I, I, I wholly uh, approve of that tactic. Because really they got evasion. He could easily miss his own grenade. I know. Goes off. Uh, it explodes oh, and hits every single person. Everyone give me a reflex save. I mean, I've only. This is only my third reflex save. I I failed twice already. I want to go last. Uh, Mo has a twenty. He makes it. Rusty has a seventeen. Twenty-four. He probably makes it. Cheddar probably misses. Cheddar's probably good. Tuttle, Tuttle was probably our not. robot. Tuttle's not. You made a thirteen. You need more than that. Um, Mo made it. So Hiroji made it. So the nice. only I take zero. one who failed. Foley was Tuttle. So this Hiroji has evasion. He ducks like a champ. Thank God. Five points of damage. Did it do anything to the uh, bad guy? I'll roll, I'll roll his in a second. Oh. oh, okay. Actually, it wasn't that much. It was only five points to Tuttle and two points to everyone else. Just to prove how crappy grenades truly are. Yeah, why do you guys buy grenades? I mean, unless we found these. Th 18. That I accept. He does not... And he rehides. So he's almost out, though. He's almost out. Hiroji's up. Oh, by the way, guys, add a plus one for my uh, uh, feet if you're attacking with a ranged weapon. Coordinated Don't you shot. Have to see him? Do you have to see him to do that? Uh, no, I have to be within melee range. I'll look it up. Well, I'm exposed. I'm gonna do my. I'm gonna do trick attack. Let's do it. Do your trick attack. 27, 28. 28. Yeah, 28. That might do it. That might do it. Let's well, see if you can I... hit. Go, 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 gadget. Nope. 17 will not do it. Wah, wah, wah. Rusty's up. Okay. Obviously, I need somebody to really take care of this guy. Uh, is that an 18 yeah. hit? Wah, wah, wah. All right. I am still using the disintegrator pistol since I am nearby. Nice. Add plus one. Thank you. I will. Uh, I did not add plus. That's okay, I'll do it. No, it's fun. I've added it. There I we go. I can tell you right now, it is a lot of fun, this uh, cloaking field, Chris. I'm enjoying it quite a bit. Mm-hmm. 50% miss. But it is about to run. Mine's about to run out. Yeah, I have two rounds. Yeah, so. no, there it's there. He's got a higher level one, though. That doesn't matter. It's only Maybe. one minute. No, it's one minute no matter what. It doesn't matter your level. It's, only, it's a minute. The, the gods minute. taught me their lesson, so high. 51 to double zero. There wow! it is. Double zeros. <laughs> oh my god. god. That is you rolled so... The 100. Rolled Wait, the 100. Hey, hey, Bob, you went high, right? I did, and actually you didn't hear me say I've learned my lesson. Chris is talking. Thank you, Bob. Thank you. I mean, please. Full respect. credit. I was actually, I gotta tell you, thinking of being a smartass and going 41 to 90, because hey, uh, that would have been, that would have that 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 proved my point. I wish, I wish you did that, actually, because it would have proved my point even more. 100, uh, you have to hit! That's a double you, you zero! You have convinced me. Chris, Chris, you were right, and I was nice. wrong. Nice. Uh, eight, eight damage. Disintegrate talk. It's like, does it disintegrate? A piece of it, but you still, you don't see it. You just hear and you hear like crackling and you hear him go and he's still hi he's hiding in plain sight he's like the predator I know yeah, he's bleed you see the bleed you see a little bit of blood up here he's like Hiroji but not as good that crackling uh, you hear uh, Hiroji uh, has never held off an entire party oh is it Mo's his up. turn oh <laughs> now it's Mo's turn I can't believe you rolled a hundred that's so good yeah that crackling you hear is uh, Mo's uh, knuckles here uh, he's going to Full attack again. I put in the minus four to hit, so. Yes, is with a 15. And my second attack. Let's see. Now. Oh, you buddy. better want You better want to hit this one. <laughs> well, of course. Oh, oh 91. At it would have been I... 38 points of damage, oh, but you, you, are... you hit the ground for 38. You don't need to show me that. Yeah. You hit the ground Jack, for 38 points of damage, John. All right, it's Tuttle's can you, can you, turn. Can you, can you switch to, to our side? You're living this? in the past here, guys. Tuttle's turn. I mean, this, there are reasons for it. It's under the car. Prefer it's under the car. Wrong and missing. Oh, no, I prefer to I, be right in this. I, I, I do enjoy this. <laughs> 
Oh, it's it's so choice. Alrighty. Um, just like my roulette system. God damn, it's so good. You're, yeah, whatever. Tuttle, you're up. Yep, I'm gonna try to shoot. I'm not gonna do right, full attack because I already have trouble hitting as it is. Wow, like that. The thirteen. You've been really rolling poorly. Um, really yeah. rolling low. Actually, I'm gonna go ahead and do a second attack. What the? Or no, because I didn't do. it. Never mind. Get it. So. Yep. Cheddar. And cheddar attacks. Yay! Boy, that actually's gonna hit. Oh, All right, like that's so high. We believe in the... Yeah, baby, the high is oh, the way. Oh, my gosh. I'm with heathens. Ah. Oh, nope. Wow. Oh, you, you rolled the right... You went the right direction. No, no. That doesn't always work. Grenade! You bet on red instead of black. Another grenade goes off. Kaboom! These are all grenades I could have in my inventory. Does your class... I, I remember you telling me how, how great your class was at 5th level, Chris. This is this is not all great. This is this is Mickey Mouse <laughs> stuff. You're doing that more damage to point. everybody I else. I remember hearing you say Yeah, when, yeah. The, when, oh, when the enemy yeah, is... how powerful his character is. <laughs> oh, here comes another level 1 grenade. Okay. <laughs> no, I'm not throwing grenades. That's that's the enemy. That's the enemy throwing grenades at us, Bob, uh, John. I yeah, it's the talking. enemy. He grew. He oh, grew I'm not grew everyone, give me. I everyone... It was Chris. Oh. No, it was the enemy. He goes. Vex throws a grenade and <laughs> oh. hits everyone again. Everyone. But you are right. Your argument is equally sound because I. <laughs> You're doing I am, just uh, underperforming. Stupid grenades. All right. I have an injury. Uh, I'm, I'm, slight in, I'm, I'm going on the DL. Are we doing reflex saves? Yes. Shatter made it. Tuttle made it. Rusty uh, made it. Mo fails. Oh, maybe not. Ooh, uh oh, Mo Bro failed. G only rolled a right 15. on the line there. Uh, I think I got a plus uh, one though. He yeah, made it. No. You made it. So nice. you get no damage. It? Yeah, he did. By well, he just, I, I, I made. I jumped around. They threw grenades. That's actually just... what you need. Is uh, nice. Mo I make thought. it with a nine? No, did not. No, Mo. Oh. No, he didn't make it. It was only six points of damage. So Mo gets sick. And then everyone else gets three Ooh. except for Richai. And then one more turn of invisibility. Um, Probably the last one. Let me ask you a question. Um, yep. What, like right directly to the north, that looks like a rocky thing. Is that just flat or what's up with that? That that's a cliff. Like that's that's a cliff forty feet up. And here, what's that? What's that space? Oh, that. Right Oh, okay. So that stuff next to you, that is dust. I actually described this last time. There's lots of mounds of this weird flaky dust that appears to be several feet deep, and that is considered difficult terrain if you try to go into it. I can. I have a thing where I can deal with that. Yeah, if you want. It's it's basically space dust. It's mounds of space dust. Mm. Don't you have that? Uneven terrain thing that you can just... Yeah, I do. Yeah, you don't care about All that. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to move over here using my... Uh, well, it doesn't matter. Like, difficult terrain doesn't doesn't matter. Um, but I will... Uh, why why does it not matter? People want to know. Yeah, what what's the name right, of that yeah, feat? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What, what are you right, doing? On, what are you doing? All right, hold on. Learn your character. <laughs> How dare you. <laughs> How dare you. <laughs> Yeah, that's going to come back at me. I, I better not say that. It's actually called Space Ash, made up of metal flakes, rocky grit, and space dust. That is what you're watching. All right, nimble moves. I, each round, I can move up to 20 feet in difficult terrain as though it were normal terrain. So that is my nimble moves. That is my thing. Okay, so, okay, so you move. So I'm going to nimble move there, feet. and I'm going to uh, ready an action that when this thing becomes visible, because I know it will soon, uh, I'm going to shoot it. So just to make sure I understand, you're f running farther away from the monster and not attacking it. Yeah, yeah. Yes, it's a tactical uh, retreat. 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 No, no, we don't use the retreat. word. We no, don't, no, use, we don't, don't use the R word. We don't use the R, the R word. We don't use. That's a, <laughs> Bravely a w. Road, you ran away. <laughs> Bravely ran away. away. <laughs> it is a tactical withdrawal. And there it okay. is. Yeah, whatever. Rusty's up. I'm going to shoot the enemy. 
Yeah. <laughs> I know. It's a tactical decision that I'm making where I'm going to shoot at the enemy. That's right. Oh, there. I hope you kill yeah. it, Rusty. Uh, I, really do. I, 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 oh, I hope I kill it too. But actually, unlike uh, Tuttle, I'm going to ruin my chances for hitting it by I'm going to take a uh, full round of attacks. I'm going to crit farm a little bit. I, I hope the guy has one health left and guy or girl, and, and that's all we needed. <laughs> 100%. Bob. And there's the second one. Hold on. Uh, and Chris, wh what do you think I should do? I will do whatever you tell me to. 51, double zero. You heard him, Steve. That's what I'm doing. I do believe 50 was a miss, but I'm just... And it worked just fine with a 64. Excellent. That puts him over. Put him on the board. That's a kill. That was the first one, and now the second one. Second one, too. You got to do wow. it again. Uh, an 51 for 25. Is what I'm going for because high is the only way to do it. Rusty doing damage. He had 92 10. once again hit. Wow. Outstanding. That's how we do. 15 He's damage. Is still right. alive. My God, how many hit points does this critter have? Uh, we want to start using um, non-lethal damage so he can we can recruit him and have an operative in our party. <laughs> Finally, <laughs> yes. Mo that has come what... up with the most <laughs> idea yet. I we like need it. this man on our team. He is good. <laughs> or woman. <laughs> That's funny. Mo is attacking. Miss with yeah, full attack. First one misses, 18. Oh, second one. Second low one. Hits. Low hits. <laughs> oh, oh, 88. Wow. Mm. All right. Yeah. And most of We're definitely. starting to learn, right? Toddles up. Even the Whopper from War Games learned after Tic Tac. I'm going to go ahead and try <laughs> the, dual, the dual attack this time. The full attack. <laughs> Until the basic strategy. I, I want you to have Cheddar start playing itself in tech tech toe That's what I want you to do. Yes, number of players zero. Six for a ten, you miss. Checking it. Oh, oh my god. You hit. Maybe. Nice. And I'm gonna go high. Yeah, baby, that's how we do. Oh no, no, no. I mean oh, low. No, no, no. <laughs> oh <laughs> I mean red, 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 red. You missed. <laughs> no, it's always high. You know, you take your chances, you pay your money. You your so chances. if you do a full attack, does Cheddar get to do anything or is it just a move, I think? Oh crap. Yeah, he that's gets rough. an attack. That's that's three yeah. attacks. No, actually. no. Oh. No, I think I have to be able to have something left to give him commands. So shoot. All right. Well, I guess Cheddar's not there. No, I think he can do something. I just don't think he can. Yeah, but I standard. think it may just be a move. I think he can do a move. That's it. Which is useless. So yeah, we're in he... good positions because I'm kind of like kind of blocking. All right. I don't know. Should program him like Robo Rally. You gonna program him like Robo Rally? Really? Yeah. Give him sets of instructions like in the future, and you know what? No matter what happens, Cheddar's gonna execute it. You know, mm. the board game. Ro I know, Ro exa rally. I know exactly what you're oh. talking about. There is a more advanced AI at level 7, I think. Yeah, we better get on that. You may want to remove all the goblin junk. The goblin junk? Is that what you're calling it? Goblin junk? Yes. He appears. You do not go oh. before. Nope. In Starfinder, you go after. It's not before. Your ready action goes after oh. all he finishes. That is new to Starfinder. Really? Yes. Really? Only Seems if your ready to action is purely defensive. Then no, it's occurs, not purely defensive. I know. Right, it occurs right before your event that triggered it. Otherwise, uh, it goes after. Therefore, uh, he still gets to go. And wow. then Hiroji will get to go. Which is Hiroji funny because that ends up being you in the exact same location. Actually, no. You end up going in front of him, which means you lose your whole turn. <laughs> he moves. <laughs> and I know this is funny. He, well, he had a good cowering maneuver going now. He did in his tactical dueling sword and will trick attack Mr. Mo. <laughs> Ooh. Does that provoke at all? No, of course not. So shit, shit, his trick shit. attack is, it doesn't, four plus 18. Believe it or Come not. On. No, it's not going to work. Doesn't do it because you're a not. CR 25. Not. Yeah. Give me a break. Don't give me this. Of course not. He Dude, barely missed he rolled the four. There's no way he's going to do it. that. I mean, I mean. Oh, not... he's doing it. He's doing it. He's good. He's a, he's a good opportunity. He's still attacking you, you, though. You want him on the team. Wow. He hit you a 19, 29. He only hit eight points of damage. It's a shame, too, because that trick attack would have been 
beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, yeah. It would have been like th- four or five D8. Yeah, it would have been a beautiful thing. Oh, yeah. Now, okay. Hiroji gets to go. All right. And I, I guess I just got my crappy, just regular. Yes. Attack. You get one attack. You get one crappy attack. Yeah. Is I'll he, take it. But is he in front of him in a, a initiative order or behind him? No, no. This is my ready to action. Yeah, it's he goes in front, so he loses. Oh, That's okay. his, yeah. So now, now, no. now I go. Now I go again. No, no, no. You don't go twice. Now you lost. That was your turn. So you got to wait a whole. No, no, that was my turn. So, no, 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 no. That. That's yes, so yes, wrong. yes, yes. You go. Nope. Uh, ready in action. Resets. It, it your resets position your right. It resets really? your initiative. Your yes, yeah. of course yeah. it does. Rusty is up. That was Pathfinder too. Yeah, that's yeah, that's path. That goes way back. That roll. Oh boy. <laughs> Rusty's up. All right. Actually, well, before uh, before Rusty goes, it looks like actually I could have taken an attack with Cheddar. It just says each round on your turn after you have acted, your drone can take either move action or standard action. Oh, okay. Well, then do an so, attack. It's well, but invisible. then it also it was still invisible sense. back then. Oh wait, yeah, you yeah. must be able to issue simple commands to your drone, but you don't have to spend actions to issue these commands. So okay. if I can do a full round attack and then still issue commands. All right, like. if you want to do a quick attack and present, pre- yeah, he's, still, he's, he's, he was still invisible. He was still stealth when I did this. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. We're just kind of retroactiving it. That's fine. Although Jason, I want to put out because technically it is my turn. I think it's great that Cheddar should go, but if Cheddar kills the creature, it's my, I, I get the credit. You really don't have to worry. Well, about we that. saved the we saved you. You the rolled trouble. a five again. Damn it. Man. Okay, now Rusty's up. Jason, these dice don't All right, like full you. round of attacks. You're doing a full attack, really? Did it last yep. time? Hit both times. This time may not be that same thing. I missed with a 20. No, because it's a minus four, which you forgot to put in. Well, so it's a 17. Yeah, okay. It's an 18, right. actually. You still missed. 17. Uh, 18. 18. So he missed with an 18. And he missed with a 13. Both missed. With my feet coordinated yeah, yeah, shot. Mo All right. Up. Uh, my- Mo is also going to do the full attack. A boom, 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 boom. God damn. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Very nice. Very well. 21. 21 hits? Wow. All right. That, that was 20 fun. hits. That was totally fun. That was, that was so fun. All right. Uh, you don't have almost, almost as much damage as I did. That's really impressive. All right. The poor little guy again. dies. Not little. <laughs> He's Not like, ah, ah, ah. <laughs> it dies and collapses. All right, I searched the body because some of this loot might be useful if we ever hire uh, an operative. Okay, you search him, and he's got lots of cool stuff. Let's see. He's got a cool rifle. He's got a cool Dibs. Aztec suit version 2. He's got two batteries. Dibs. He's got a tactical dueling sword. And the rifle is a sniper rifle. So, um, Hiroji, do you need uh, two batteries? No, I need <laughs> I, I need a tactical uh, dueling sword. I need well, okay, wait, to add for, rough. For, first answer about the batteries. You yeah, said you're passing those, on the batteries because hey, those are your first loot. Uh-huh. I think I think John had a very good point there. Uh, I'm not really needing batteries, but I will take that sniper rifle. Because I can use it. So you're you're passing on your first yeah. loot. Okay. Next, I guess is going to be Jason. Do you want something? Um, I don't know that anything there is all that great. I mean, there's the Aztec suit version two. That's I'm wearing that already. One. Yeah. And there's a tactical dueling sword, and the rifle is cool, but someone's going to have to do a roll on it because it's a little rare. I'm going to have to do a roll on that because I'm going to uh, check that out. Mo is also going to do a roll on that. Oh, actually, no, he doesn't have a uh, knowledge. Uh, yeah, I do. It's just is that like an engineering thing? Just engineering. That's all it is. Roger twenty eight. You know easily what this is. This is very cool. So, this is actually fairly well known. So, this creature is a Sarcissian. The Sarcissians live in the asteroid fields. Like that, they're native to the asteroid belt. They're ten foot tall, large humanoids that actually have wings that allow them to fly between the asteroids and they can survive in outer space. They basically can breathe. They can go up to an hour without breathing breathing, and exist in a vacuum without suffocating. They have these cool wings of pure energy that grant them supernatural flight. They also are renowned for their sniper rifles. 
and they're called Dysporian Rifles, and this is a Dysporian Rifle Tactical. They're very good. They are sniper rifles. They do 1d8 fire damage, a range of 70, but the best part is they hold 10 charges, so you do not have to worry about bolt loading and reloading constantly. They're Ooh. very well known. Well, can you use nice. that? What's the actual name of the armor when you have a second? I'm going to see if I can see the s tech suit version 2. It is light armor. It gives you a plus 4, plus 5. It's oh, probably that's... better than almost... Well... Right. I'm, yeah. I'm wearing that right now. So just look at me and enjoy my armor and then enjoy that on. <laughs> Uh, well, it certainly is more expensive than mine. Let me see. Yes, exactly. I don't. I don't go cheap into yeah. combat. I, I have I learned ah, not to well buy armor. armor. I will never combat, buy armor I again. Well dress lit armor. John, sorry. What are you saying? I will never buy armor again. Never. Would you like to use this one? No, no, no. No, he can't. Use no, it. I learned armor not to ever buy armor because the, when you pick it up, it's like getting two thousand credits onto your character. It's pretty good. Yes, that's true. Uh, that armor I could use, and actually I could particularly use it for the upgrade slots. But that said, uh, Jason, no, that's I, uh, why I took it because that's three, I believe. I actually have. I believe I have one, unless I unless I sold it for the ten percent. Right, like Grats smart are... people in the group actually Grats bought that armor, there. and like the people who no. are like not. Well, when that, you say no. that, let, let, wait, well, hold Rusty on, let me did it the right way. Hey, John, Rusty, John, how much do did that cost armor? you when you now, now like, that you've John, got that armor? Do you need that armor? No, of course not. That's crappy armor. So it's light. What you're I mean, is, Bob, by what asking you're that question, is, you're exposing your ignorance. Chris, so exactly. you were saying the smart people bought it. I'm getting it for free. Yeah, no kidding. Oh, shit. That's true. Goddamn. That was what I was checking. Yeah. I was confirming with John just to make sure. Well, now we're going to debit against your account of loot, but no. Well, no. are we, though? No. I'm not, not so sure. Really, no, we're not. We're not. We're not. I mean, like. <laughs> I love that. The no. first thing after buying my armor, we go to the jungle and there's another suit of my armor just laying there that they, they want to give that's to the party. <laughs> it's like, oh, great. That's, that's no great. Is it? Uh, we did run into that a lot. That's true. Yeah, actually, Her y Yoshi has both Yoshi. Um, Hiroji. Her no, not Hiroji. Uh, Tuttle. Yoshi like, works. Yeah, I, know, I have, I know, I have a D walking. suit. Yeah, I have a D suit and an S suit. I know you have two awesome, and you're wearing the yeah. D suit, and the D suit's awesome. So he was in the jungle. He remembered like not being able to breathe. He's got a lot of suits. Yeah, I keep a few a costume changes. I don't. I don't disparage him. So for that. is Hiroji taking the rifle? Is the only one who can? Oh yes, it? I'm taking that rifle. And if there's going to be problems with that, there's going to be guns drawn. So we're going to no, see. No, no, no. Keep the no, right. no, Nobody wants not. a rifle. We're just All messers. Yours. Messers. Messers. Who, who wants the Aztec suit version 2? I am Rusty. the only one who can use it. I will take it. Uh, now, credit 6. That's are what you we gonna want. Put, no, there's not. That you can oh! Put. John, John, keep so tab on his. Do you... Right. Uh, I'm the one who ran the numbers that showed I actually had the most money on me. So Now, your suit currently has stuff in it, though, uh, Rusty, right? Uh, jump jets, to be precise. And how long does it take to transfer that out and put in another? I think it's like a day, isn't it? It's like either an hour or a day or something like that. Yeah, it's, it's not that long. Yeah. But let me ask you a question. Uh, uh, this rifle uses what kind of ammunition? Batteries. Excellent. Uh, I am going to keep wearing my Lashanta Temp Wave with the jump jets until I can transfer the jump jets over to the Aztec suit. Okay. You might want to look that up while we're playing. It literally takes very little time. I think it's like an hour. Well, I don't know if we have an hour. If we do, we have plenty of time. Uh, yeah, we're gonna rest anyway for ten minutes. So, uh, well, of course, yeah. We're doing that. yeah. So let's get us back up to full. Jump jets are very fun. Well, what's even better is having the jump jets and then putting a force field on top of it, which is what I had wanted originally, but I didn't want to buy. I know, but you know what? The brown force field is I didn't want to wait for horrifically that. terrible. It's like they're it's not even worth it. Like. The brown force field gives you one hit point of temporary hit points. Hit point that regenerates, and it's one point per something. something yeah, per but it's per like, but it's like but after someone like is gone. D no, it's like dr though. I mean, it, it, it's no. it takes it takes a full another round to recharge. That's... It's it's very slow. It basically lasts. Yeah, for, the it basically brown lasts for one is terrible. Fight. Like the higher level ones are great, but brown it, it lasts for like one fight because it takes a while to recharge. Like as soon as it gets hit, it's gone, and it takes quite a while to come back. Oh, okay. All right. So, what are you gonna do? Are you gonna put the jump? I don't. I don't care. I don't, I don't care. Just, just put new jump jet. 
put well, your who's, who's who's taking a on. ten minute break while you look up what it takes to move over the. Well, jumpers. I'm doing a ten minute. Break. I, I can't go. see oh, my if way. my stamina is gone, but is my stamina gone? You have twelve out of forty. If you roll over your character, oh, yeah. you can see it. Tw- twelve out of forty. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm taking a ten minute break. Yeah, definitely. Rusty, what's your uh, what's your uh, what's your stamina? Ooh, oh, yeah, I'm totally six taking out of 40. Yeah. And then I I'm presume... taking a break. Yeah, we're already at the rest here. You too. heal cheddar for okay, what, 12? so we will... I guess Rusty's looking that up. Jason? I'm looking at the amount of Jason. time to move it to the... I'm sorry, what? I presume you're taking a break and then going to yeah, heal... Yeah, oh, yeah, I, said, I was taking a 10-minute rest. And are you going to heal cheddar? Oh, yeah. I presume. Do we see a little bit into that uh, crater to the west at all? I believe we should have that vantage. Just a little bit more. Just give me a second. Really not seeing the amount of time. Oh, fine. Hold on. I'm looking still. I'm not saying you had to. Armor upgrades and the rules for it are page 204, as is the upgrade slot item, but I'm not seeing that rule listed. It could be overall enhancements rules. Ten minutes to replace the unit and re-secure all connections. Ten minutes. Now, the question is, can you change in a vacuum? You're not in a vacuum. Or not in a... Well, and, and, and also probably, yes. Why would you not be able to do that for like, mechanics? Well, you would have to change your suits. That's what I'm talking about. I understand. Uh, I see, but that's fine. I can. You're not in a vacuum. Oh, I mean, no, no. You know? I, can't, I can't breathe in a vacuum. No. Um, right. That's right. Okay, sorry. Yes, of course. Good point. I couldn't breathe in a vacuum. Yeah, I mean, there's no way to change your suits on this desolate planet. In yeah, this. No. Well, no, that's fine. I can do that. Uh, I thought this was I thought this was low atmosphere. It is low atmosphere, so he can do it. So you can take ten minutes, and then you can take another ten minutes. Is it ten minutes to take it off, and then ten minutes to but wait, install it's, it? It's low atmosphere, and there's oxygen. Uh, let, let, let me let me read it to you, Steve. Some individuals keep a collection of upgrades at hand, swapping them out as needs. Parentheses requiring ten minutes to replace the unit and resecure all connections. It's the first paragraph of armor upgrades, page two hundred and four. I rule in favor of that. Thank you. I roll against that. All right, so I choose to swap my uh, armor for the new one. Ten minutes. Fine. Cool. So you can swap it out. You go through. You take off your jump jets off your crappy armor. You put it on your new armor. You step out into the low atmosphere. It's all dusty. Crappy armor. The difference is 1k AC. I mean, the upgrade slots, but otherwise, it is 1k AC. It's the same EAC. (sighs) All right. So wait, um, he does this like in the middle of this asteroid, like in with no like. Uh, you, you, as I notice you watching me, I visibly hold my breath because I want to make sure I don't get hurt. It's okay, and you can hold your breath for your con plus, so he can... He, for it doesn't long, take that long. <laughs> for a long, long time. So he is... Uh, my my holding my breath is a bluff of 26. Excellent. Well, I'm watching him like re- remove his armor um, in space and uh, change into another suit of armor. That's right, and you saw me definitely humanly do it. First of all, you see him do it but for the hundredth time you're not in the void of space the at there's a low oxygen atmosphere on the asteroid oh, okay sorry but i was but i was holding my breath because it's so low oxygen i did it totally humany yeah I, and i was yes just all right humany. i'm on board and what, what ends up happening is you just have to make a save if you want otherwise you're fatigued that's all from the low atmosphere yes but you're fine uh yeah i i look visibly uh you know, upset at the atmosphere until I, my new suit is on, and then I look fine. Yep. Yeah, I mean, can't we just rest after he changes? It, it, it's all happened. It all happened. So you guys are all fine. He's got his new yep. suit on. He's all happy and joyful. This Sarcesian uh, Sarcesian is dead, and Hiroji has a shiny new rifle that's completely out of ammo. I do. By the way, so you're gonna have to put a new um, battery. I put a battery into it. Okay. Uh, and Mr. And Rusty's disintegrator pistol is also halfway empty, by the way. And I put a battery into my um, into my um, uh, azimuth, uh, not the azimuth, the uh, uh, lightning pistol. And this tactical dueling sword just go to the party, I presume. Wait a minute. My disintegrator pistol has 20 charges. 
and you sh- and you did multi attack how many times? Uh, I attacked full round twice and regularly once. And how many so five? And how many charges is used per shot? Ah, usage two. All right, well played. Yes, I know the rules. Anyhow, no, you, you definitely knew that one. Very nice, better than that I. That one I knew. Um, once I hear the rule, I remember it. So yes, okay. Yeah. I'm just going to put Tactical Dueling Sword in the party for now. Aztec Suit went to Rusty. Yep. Here you guys are. You're on this asteroid. You know there's a secret base somewhere around here. Something. What are you going to do? Hey, everyone. Steve here. So there we go. Our first big fight as level five. And I think it went quite swimmingly. One note is I will always ask the guys to mention any new abilities they're going to be using. Because at level 5 and also level 6, well actually every level, they get lots of new abilities. So I'll make sure they always explain it to you as much as possible so you know what the heck they're doing. And to be honest, some of the times even I need to know what the heck they're doing. So that was a fun little fight. It was a little tedious. On the game map, they were actually all standing next to each other. And yet, they couldn't hit this guy because of the concealment. Which leads me right into my GMPC tip this week. How to make annoying mechanics fun. Now here's a perfect example of an annoying mechanic for both, well, the GMs and the PCs. Concealment. This is a 50% mischance. So every single time you attack, you have a 50% mischance. And I spoke to a whole bunch of people. And the thing they do, some of them, they roll it all at the same time, or they have the GMs roll it, and then they say what the outcome is. No, 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 no. None of that is fun. Now, the way I do it is, well, pretty much the way you heard how I do it, is I have the PCs roll almost everything. Now, I'm going to say right up front that my way is definitely the slowest way, and if you really want to speed things up, you know, I know people who roll combat and damage and concealment all at the same time to speed things up. Now, if you're in a live game, or more importantly, society game, sure, I can totally see that, but look... The whole reason you're doing this is to have fun. And Bob often says, if it takes longer and you're having fun, who cares? And I agree with that, is that I make sure that we're having fun. And you heard just how much fun they were having with concealment. Now, concealment is normally one of the most atrocious things there is in the game. I mean, think about it. You have a 50% mischance every single time you attack. I've played with many people who bitch and moan and complain about it when this comes up. But if you heard... These guys really got into it and sort of turned it into their own game. So how do you do this? It's actually really simple. First of all, separate out the roles. That's the first thing you want to do. Don't combine it all. It creates tension. So for example, when they roll to hit and then we find out they hit, it adds the extra tension now. Oh, did they really hit or did they miss? Now, the other thing you want to do is always give PCs control of the roles. Again, This is something that is crucial as much as you can. And this is just not only these mechanics, whenever possible, always, always, always have the PCs roll every single thing they can. In fact, the GM should, whenever possible, roll as little as possible. They should almost always have the PCs roll everything. It gives them more control, it gives them the sense of control, it allows them to have more fun, and quite frankly, it's much more memorable when the PCs are rolling. And then, just because you're giving them access to their own fate, they'll turn into a game, just like we did here. And the other thing is, don't dictate the terms. Don't say, okay, if you roll low, you miss, and high, you hit. No, don't let them do everything. Let them do every aspect as much as possible. And again, it's a little bit slower if you do it this way. We probably wasted a good 15 minutes having them do all the rolls, but listen how much more fun they had. And then it turned into this whole game of who was rolling what and who's right, when in reality, it doesn't matter, it's dice. There's no such thing as having the right numbers, but they turned it into this whole thing. And that is where the fun comes in. The other thing to keep in mind is do keep in mind what type of encounter you're in. Now, this wasn't a life or death encounter. By the end, they can realize they were easily going to take this guy. He wasn't doing that much damage and that this was going to be a fun encounter. Now, if you're in a boss encounter, I suggest you still use the same mechanics that I just explained. But do keep in mind that people are going to be a lot more serious. And if they start missing rolls, they're going to probably start cursing and getting very, very angry. So do just keep in mind. 
mind, these rules are dependent on what type of encounter you're in right now. Now, I won't change these rules if I'm in a hard encounter or an easy encounter. I keep them exactly the same, but just keep in mind how to frame things and how much you should be joking or not joking. You know, if they're in a very serious encounter, I probably would lay off some of the jokes unless you feel like they need it. You know, this was kind of a goofy encounter by the end and everyone was just fooling around and having fun. But again, any mechanics, whether it's concealment, whether it's percentage to miss chance, whether it's a roll on something like a confusion table, pretty much anything possible, have the PCs roll it. That is the number one rule to make these bad mechanics, or not bad mechanics, but make annoying mechanics or mechanics that really don't favor PCs a lot more fun. It's really just that simple, and hopefully you can do this in the future. So a few quick show notes. Here we are, episode 5-0. I'm not too surprised. I thought we'd make it, but it's one of these things that just sort of sneaks up on you. We're like, holy moly, how did we get 50 episodes in the can? Damn, that's a lot of episodes. And how are we only up to book three? No. All right, don't worry about that. Things will happen as they happen, as we just said. As I said earlier in the show, Do check out the Discord, just discord.rollforcombat.com. That is where we're having all these games and other fun things going on. You can also get some free t-shirts and other free loot for the big episode number 5-2, the one-year anniversary. Maybe I'll do a little contest or something. But you got to check out the Discord channel to be part of the contest, discord.rollforcombat.com. Make sure you check it out. Also, don't forget, new podcast every Tuesday. Do subscribe to us on iTunes and Android, and do please review us on iTunes. Every review counts quite a bit, and Android as well. You can go to Stitcher or whatever Android podcast aggregator you use. I'm sure they have reviews, so do review our show, please. Also, do follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube. Do check out the Reddit channel. Do check out our Patreon, where you can get some cool new prizes and support us at the show here. Also, don't forget, every Thursday, Jason is a talking combat column where he goes through every single episode from the PC's point of view. Check that out every Thursday. Also, if there's something you would want me to cover on the show, a GM or PC tip, or you have any questions, or just, well, anything at all, you can just write me at steve at rollforcombat.com or go to the Discord channel. You can chat with me there. Oh, and by the way, here is the special treat. I mentioned there would be a special treat, and here's the special treat. So... Rusty. Whenever I think of Rusty, I always think of this song from the Venture Brothers. Now, if you've never watched the Venture Brothers, the Venture Brothers was what Rick and Morty was before Rick and Morty came out. The Venture Brothers came out way back in, see, the 2003 or 2004, and it is absolutely fantastic. They're up to season seven right now, and I freaking love the show. Anyhow, one of the main characters, or should I say the main character, is named Rusty. And whenever I hear Rusty, I think of this song that I'm going to play for you shortly. So, here you go. Enjoy this song. Hopefully, it'll get stuck in your mind whenever you hear the word Rusty. And you, too, will enjoy what I hear. So, thanks for listening for all 50 episodes. And here's the song Rusty from the musical Rusty from the Venture Brothers. Enjoy. Listening to Roll for Combat, a Starfinder actual play podcast. If you have a question or comment for the show, please visit us at rollforcombat.com. 
or drop us a line at contact at rollforcombat.com. You can also find us on Twitter, Facebook, Discord, and other social media platforms. been listening to Roll for Combat. Until next week, always remember that strange women lying in ponds distributing swords is no basis for a system of government. <laughs>